Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Where's your name? My name is Debashri. I'm from USA. What is your name and where are you from? It's nice to meet you. My name is Richard and I'm calling you from Brazil. Okay, very nice to meet you, Richard. Yeah, nice to meet you too. <laughs> yeah. And what about you? Where are you from? I'm from near Chicago. Have you heard of Chicago? Yes, I have. Yeah. It's really cold there. <laughs> yes, <it? laughs> yeah. Yeah, especially in the winter, yeah. Mm, I see. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And how long have you been here on Cambly for? Um, almost a month. Mm, you are new yeah. here. Yep, I'm Welcome pretty new. Yeah, yeah. I've been here for a while. Yeah. Uh, it's been almost two years. Almost and... two years. Yeah, yeah. As I love this platform. Yeah. It's so great. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think like uh, this summer especially it's been really great for uh my depression <laughs> um because like not having other people to talk to outside of like my family um and like learning about other cultures by traveling it's been a blessing to be able to do uh, both of those um through through cambly yeah and also like mm -hmm. not being able to like meet my friends <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah this pandemic is so hard especially right when it comes to, you know, to being with people. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's awesome to be here on Cambly. And it, it has been helping me to improve my, my communication skills as well. Mm -hmm. And so I don't feel afraid of speaking with, you know, uh, strange people. Sure. So that's awesome yeah. to be able to express ourselves because I was a little bit shy before. Uh, so well, yeah, so like you know, right funny. before um, like uh, I became um, like a teacher on, on Cambly, I was like uh, nervous to like teach my first class. Like, what are the people gonna be like? Or just like jitters that you get before like a new job or something. But uh, yeah. as soon as like I finished like my first one or two um, classes, I was like excited, ready to like talk to new people, meet new people, help them with their um, English learning journey. <laughs> ah, that's yeah. awesome. And what about before Cambly? Um, um, did you teach people before? Uh, so I have been teaching part time in the United States, but I focused mainly on students who were in elementary school, um, kindergarten. So first I started, uh, um, of course, like in the United States um, and I did it part time. Uh, it was just like in in college, it was like just to get some money for uh, for college. Um, and then um, when I started working, I moved to a different place. And there, instead of teaching like English or like um, reading comprehension, I was teaching math. So I can also I can also teach math. Um, and um, after that, so like um, almost two years now, actually, yeah, al almost two years ago, uh, I had been doing research on um, teaching uh, abroad. So mm -hmm. I really wanted to live abroad and teach abroad. I had watched a lot of YouTube videos um, as people do to prepare for the things they, mm -hmm. they want to yeah. do. So I watched tons of videos and then I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to find uh, a recruiter. And I went through the whole like uh, getting a visa, interviewing for schools. And then I finally landed a job in South Korea. Mm, so awesome. I was in, yeah, yeah I was in South Korea. Profile. Yeah. You were in South Korea for 18 months, right? Right, exactly. Yeah, 18 months. So um, August of 2018, um, I left my um, my job in the United States that I had been at for four years and then moved to South Korea. Um, I really, really loved living there. Um, yeah, it was really good time. Um, like the people were super friendly. Uh, I got by with <laughs> very little uh, Korean language knowledge. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, That's because, cool. yeah, I, I tried to learn. Uh, I'm still trying to learn um, when I when I can. Um, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too difficult for a foreigner um, living in an Asian country. Mm, that's yeah. Cool. Um, and then in February, I came back home. Mm, this yeah this year yeah yeah so 18 months uh where were you when you were in south korea were you in so 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 yes so yes <laughs> the capital, yes. Right? <laughs> yeah yeah exactly a lot of people say seoul or something but no it's seoul 
Yeah. It's so, so yeah. <laughs> That's in English. So, you know, so the same pronunciation. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. yeah. I love yeah. to, to travel to South Korea. It's yeah. so awesome when we look at pictures you know, mm -hmm. there. It's so awesome. Yeah. And, but I'd love to go to the United States as well. Yeah. And, and I've been working on my English so hard and I can right now communicate. I feel so glad to be able to do that. I understand, you know, 99% of what you, you say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's really awesome. That's great. My English has been improving so much yeah. here on Assembly. And it's all about, you know, communication, being able to use your language. And I feel so glad. I've, mm -hmm. I've also been studying Spanish, but mm -hmm. it's not as good as my English. <laughs> yeah. So is it that much different from Portuguese? No, it's not actually. It's pretty similar, but sometimes we have to be careful because there are so many false cognates, you know, words oh, okay. we, we think they are the same, but they're not. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in order to be, to communicate effectively, mm -hmm. it, it's great to understand those words, right? Sure, and, sure, yeah. You know, earlier today I was searching about, you know, exchange programs. Mm -hmm. and and most of them are from England. Mm -hmm. they, I can apply for being a, a volunteer, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's great because I can do a lot of tests there and I don't mm -hmm. have to, I don't need to pay for, you know, for food, for lodging. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So that's really awesome. And it's also cheap, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what kinds of things would you want to do? Okay. First of all, I'd like to to improve my English and my Spanish, and then after that, apply for my master's degree. Mm -hmm. I majored in engineering last year, mm -hmm. and right now, as we know, languages are important, so that's why I've been working on that. Mm -hmm. And after that, after applying for a master's degree, I'd like to to go, you know, on an exchange program, and mm -hmm. I think. It would be awesome. And after that, you know, travel around the world. I love yeah, traveling. yeah. What yeah, me you? too. Yeah, and knowing English, you'll be able to travel everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so great. Mm -hmm. That's why I love yeah. so much English. Yeah. And it allows us to, to go everywhere. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, even in like Asian countries, like they'll have the signs on the road in their like native, uh, like, sorry, their native language as well as in English. Yeah. Yeah, and it's yeah. so awesome. Even here in my city in Brazil, yeah. sometimes I'm when I'm on the street, when I'm you know walking along and uh -huh. I, I, I see a sign, oh it's also mm -hmm. in English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right, right. English is everywhere. Mm. And that's so interesting you brought that up because a lot of people say, for example, especially native speakers, you know, mm -hmm. people who speak English already, they say, Oh, as I already I already know English fluently. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I don't need to study another language. What do you oh, think about yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you asking me what I think about that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I think they're wrong because uh, I think the more languages you know, the more comfortable you'll feel like traveling. So if you know even like a few phrases in Korean, in Japanese, um, in like, Thai, when you go to those countries, when you talk to the people there, they'll be so impressed. And then like, um, they will feel like more at ease with you, more friendly, because you are uh, trying your best to like relate with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. Some, and some people think, for example, it's a matter of respect when you mm -hmm. go to a country and you, you know, you take a little effort to learn the language. It, it mm -hmm. shows respect. Well, exactly. That. Right, right, right. Yeah. Even though English is, we can communicate with almost everybody. Mm -hmm. It's great, to, as mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. to learn new languages. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, yeah. So actually, um, outside of English, I speak. Maybe you saw on my profile. Um, I speak a couple of other languages. Um, I uh, speak Bengali, which is like my mother tongue from the region in India where my family is from. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also taught myself Hindi. 
uh, it's not perfect. I learned mainly from watching movies or listening to people's conversations. Um, that's how I picked that up. I mean, I can't read or write, but I, I can maybe have a conversation, understand what people are saying. Um, and then um, I took a few years of Spanish in high school. Um, and then I've tried to practice it on my own since then. Um, just by using some apps or talking to people who uh, know Spanish. Um, and then when I was in Korea, I tried to pick up a little bit of the language there. Yeah. So yeah. whenever I meet a Korean, they're like, oh, like say something in Korean. <laughs> and I was like, uh, like sometimes it's like uh, embarrassing or maybe they think, oh, oh, she is so cute, like speaking <laughs> Korean. <laughs> Yeah. You have aptitude for learning languages, don't you? <laughs> I, I don't know. Some people think I do, but I, I don't I don't think so. I think um I just if I want to, then yeah, like I'll put in a little bit of effort, just depending on the language. Yeah, you know, yeah. And I also think that when I I see myself, you know, in a video talking to somebody in a different language, you know, it blows my mind. I feel like, oh, mm -hmm. it's so awesome, you know? It's so yeah, beautiful. Yeah. I like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. unfortunately, uh, where I live in Brazil, uh, we do have English classes, you know, at school. Mm -hmm. but it's not that good. So, right, right. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, like from what I've heard from most students, like in China, Saudi Arabia, Brazil, they say that what they learn is grammar and maybe enough just to like pass the tests. Yeah, yeah for the exactly. exams. And that, but you don't like learn how to communicate with like another person, how to speak the language of the native, uh, native speaker or how to use it. So, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I, I remember being in high school mm -hmm. and as English, people don't take English seriously. Mm -hmm. So I remember when my teacher, you know, asked us to to give a presentation in mm -hmm. English, and we searched the words in the Google Translator mm -hmm. and we memorized all those words. Yeah, we just, you know, we just yeah re rehearsed. I think uh -huh, that's the word. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So we rehearsed, and you know, I didn't learn anything. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah, because. Mm -hmm. Even though I already knew the words, as I, I had memorized, I didn't understand the concept. Mm -hmm, I was, mm -hmm. As the class finish, finished, I was not able to reproduce what I, what I, right, right. I had yeah. to use. Sure, sure, yeah. And that's like, I think the same for like most subjects, not just English, like what we learn in school, things that I learned now that I'm thinking about it, like biology, I don't remember half the things I learned in that class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And there, there is a phrase. Uh, it says, when we learn something, we never forget. Mm -hmm. So So I think like when we learn and then use it. Yeah. 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 When we exactly. use it, yeah, we don't forget. Yeah. There's a phrase when we, if you don't use it, we lose mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah. In yep. English. Exactly. If you don't use it, you lose it. Um, and yeah, so like a lot of uh, for foreign people, people on Cambly, students on Cambly, uh, they say like the thing that they most struggle with these days is not having someone to speak with, uh, like where they live or for the last few years they haven't practiced and their English has regressed. So they need more practice. They need to keep, uh, keep going and talking to people, yeah. Yeah, you know, I wish I I had learned I have I had learned English before because I had so much free time, you know, to mm -hmm. practice my English with mm -hmm. people. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. when I was in in high school, in the elementary school, mm -hmm. the internet was not that okay. Cheap. Mm -hmm. So it was hard to communicate with people like this. Right, but, right, yeah. yeah but it, you know, right now I, I already know how to speak English. Thank yeah, God. And yeah, you're doing like amazing. Yeah, I would think you're like a native speaker. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for the compliment. I love when you guys say that. <laughs> you're wonderful. Seriously. My, my hard work is being paid off. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I would definitely thank say that. You. Yeah. Oh, so, my yeah. time out of time. Thanks so yeah. much for doing that whole class. <laughs> yeah, of course. It was a, such a pleasure talking to you.
Thanks so much. Yeah, have a good night. Okay. You too. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.